Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn how to append data from multiple Excel workbooks and each of the Excel workbook contains sheets and the name of the sheets are same. So this is the assumption which we will carry in this video. In the previous video, PQ11, we carry an assumption where we have same table names. In this video, PQ11.1, .1, we are carrying a new different assumption that we have multiple Excel workbooks and we need to fetch the data from different workbooks where we have all sheet names are same. So first let me show you a demonstration by opening all those Excel files in Microsoft Excel application and then we will append the data in the Power BI. Okay so I have a folder and in this particular folder we have four Excel workbooks as you can see East, North, South and West and I have opened them into the Microsoft Excel application. So in the north file, there are five columns, store ID, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. And you can see at the bottom, the name of this particular sheet is called data. When I go to the next Excel workbook, which is of south, now you can see the similar thing that this particular workbook also contains a sheet and the name is same this worksheet name is called data then i move to another excel workbook which is of east and here we have again some kind of a data and the name of this particular sheet is the data okay so the assumption which we will carry for appending the data from multiple excel workbooks where we have same sheet names in each of the uh, workbook and same name of the worksheet now again it will come in your mind that what if that in all the excel workbooks the sheet names are not same and different then we what to need to do and that concept will cover in the next video that is pq12 okay all right so i hope you understood and let's uh, demonstrate that in the power bi okay so in the power bi i will click on get data then i will click on more okay now i will select the folder and I will click on connect. So I need to define the path. Either you can copy that or you can click on browse to locate that folder. And I will just click on OK button now. All right, so it shows me some metadata, again, a summarized kind of a data. And what we need to do is we need to combine all these Excel files and load it into the Power BI. So I will select combine and load. Now it will read on the back end, it will evaluate the query and will take some seconds to uh, fetch the data from different Excel workbooks where we have all the sheet names are same. And uh, within few seconds it will combine. But before that, we have a last step to perform that we need to select. Um, a file any we, we can select any file because the standard is same the number of columns are similar kind are available in each of the excel workbook so you can select any file but as i told you in the earlier videos that if you have something very different in one particular file so you can make it as a base file okay and we know that each of the file contains a sheet so you can see this is the icon is, is of sheet uh, where each uh, sheet name is data in in each of the excel workbook so the name is similar so we need to click on this sheet name and click on ok so in next few seconds it will try to fetch the data from each of the excel workbook so now the data is being loaded and you can see on the right side of field list you can preview the data here in the data tab and uh, what if that a new file is in place in the folder so what we what you can do is for example there are four excel workbooks and for example next week or a next month a new file is being uh, pasted here by the user so for example if i make a copy of this particular excel workbook and if i rename that as a central okay so when i go to the power bi you can see that currently we we have just uh, uh, data coming from four excel files central is not presented here but we have place that file in the folder so I will go to the home tab and click on refresh
and now you can see that the data from the central excel workbook has also been added right so i hope you understand that how we can append the data from different excel workbooks where we have the assumption that all the sheet names are same in the next video we will learn that what if when the user have multiple excel workbooks in a folder and it does not have a consistency because the table names are different in each of the excel workbook and the sheet names are also different in each of the excel workbook then we will define the m language code and we will cover that in the next video that is pq12 thank you